गुड मॉर्निंग सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच ओ कैप्टन माई कैप्टन बाई वर्ल्ड विथ मैन सो द पोएम ओ कैप्टन माई कैप्टन इज रिटन बाई वर्ल्ड विथ मैन द पोएट इज वर्ल्ड विथ मैन हेयर हु इज अ फेमस अमेरिकन पोएट ही इज कंसिडर्ड वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट अमेरिकन पोएट ऑफ ऑल टाइम नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द पोएट वर्ल्ड विथ मैन ही हैज पब्लिश्ड हिज ग्रेस ग्रेट कलेक्शन ऑफ पोएम्स इन द नेम ऑफ लिप्स ऑफ ग्रास which has nine editions in of it and uh, the poem o captain my captain is also taken from there now walt whitman was writing in the background of american nationalist movement and he has written many poem on that issue here the poem itself is a uh, arousing uh, our nationalistic views about america and the nationalistic views of the people around america about the background of this poem talking about the background of this poem we can understand from this poem that the civil war which was the costliest and deadliest war of america and it was fought at the time at the time of the president abraham lincoln who was the 60th president of usa so abraham lincoln the 60th president of usa he handled the war and under his leadership the america went into the war now the captain also refers to abraham lincoln and uh, Uh, this poem has its background of historical and political war now uh, after publishing just uh, after the seven months of the assassination of abraham lincoln the poem become a huge success or hit due to its uh, intelligent use of imagery due to the intelligent use of rhythm and the poetic devices in the poem the poem was a great success now we will read the first stanza of the poem and understand the stanza now this poem is written in three stanzas we are we i have written here the first stanza which you are going to understand o oh, captain my captain our fearful trip is done the ship has with a red free deck the prize we shot is won the port is near the bells i hear the people all exulting so in this poem in the beginning we can see that the speaker is calling his captain oh captain my captain and he is talking about a trip he is talking about a fearful trip so metaphorically this poem refers to the civil war of america and the language used in the poem can be literal meaning can have its literal and as well as figurative meaning so there are two meanings actually lying in the lines of the poem one meaning is literal meaning where he is addressing the captain of the ship and another meaning is he is directly addressing to abraham lincoln now we can understand the ship has withered withered means withstood right so the ship has actually uh, come out of all its difficulties the ship has come out the difficulties and the prize we shot is won that means the civil war has been won by america right now the port is near so that means that they are nearing to a win and they are reaching uh, to the end of the war and they can means obviously the people are cheering at this time so the speaker is seeing uh, saying that he can hear the bells he can see he can see the people are exulting while follow eyes the steady kill the vessel grim and daring but oh heart 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 oh the bleeding drops of red where on the deck my captain lies falling cold and dead so now the poem is suddenly suddenly changing its tone the speaker is actually in the second part of the first stanza it's changing its tone right because the opening uh, lines of the stanza is calling out as and uh, as a joy or is it is a it is it is a, actually a victory which they are celebrating but in the later on uh, in the stanza we can see that where from the middle half halfway the tone of the speaker is changing but oh heart 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 oh the bleeding drops of red here suddenly the poet uh, speaker is becoming more grim and the seriousness is coming into play in this lines of the stanza now 
uh, talking about the structure of the poem we can see that the poem uh, the poem is written actually this is the first stanza after that we have two more stanzas so the poem is written in three stanzas where in the uh, every stanza we can see that, that there are two uh, quatrains now in quatrains we know that the quatrains are the four lines of the poem consisting of four lines and we also see uh, about this structure of this poem that the poem is written in the free verse where the poet is the poet is very uh, has the freedom to open any kind of rhyming scheme so that's why you do not see actually any kind of uh, rhyming in the lines of the poem except the uh, except except the rhyming of red with dead other than that we do not see the rhyming of done one or exulting during right and we also see in the poem that uh, the poem is written in the iambic meter and um, it has been uh, it has been uh, written with a rhythm and um, the poet has very uh, means intelligently used that in the poem the literary devices used over here oh captain my captain we can see the repetition of this uh, oh captain my captain words and this is actually um, nothing but it is actually anaphora where the repetition of these words are used as the scheme to you know uh, attract or emphasize the meaning of the effectiveness of the speaker is um, emphasized through this successive use of the uh, phrase oh captain my captain so this is the anaphora used over here and there is a metaphor also in the poem because we know that the captain is abraham lincoln metaphorically and the war is a uh, civil war so this is been the trip in the poem and uh, also um, the ship has been the usa right so that is the metaphor used in the poem other than that we also see that apostrophe is used in the beginning of the poem oh captain my captain where the captain is actually dead and the captain is no more with us and it is still the speaker is addressing the captain that means that the subject is addressed here even if the subject is not present directly in the poem so this is the use of the apostrophe in the poem and we have also the imagery in the poem because the fallen cold and dead this this line fallen cold and dead is actually uh, trying to express the uh, image or it is visually creating the image of the dead body of the captain and uh, that's why the imagery is used because the, in, in the imagery we see that the uh, poet is poet poet tries to evoke the sensory uh, sensory organs sensory experiences like the test like the uh, hearing like the smell okay all these are expressed throughout uh, through this line in the uh, poem where the visual image of the dead body of the poet is uh, captain is created by Abraham Lincoln, right? And talking about the theme of this poem, we can easily uh, recognize the theme of this poem is obviously one is uh, victory and loss because uh, the battle uh, in which the USA uh, won uh, against the rebels but, uh, under the leadership of Abraham Lincoln that is talking about the victory and at the at the same time that is not only about the victory of uh, the captain or it is not only about the victory of the uh, USA but it's at the same time the loss is also there because the great leader like Abraham Lincoln uh, is lost during this battle so the theme of victory and loss is um, predominantly present in this poem at the same time we can also see the irony in the uh, in the lines of the poem because uh, the battle is won the uh, civil war has been won but there is uh, and the speaker is addressing the um, great president abraham lincoln but abraham lincoln is not anymore alive with us so there is obviously the lying irony in present in that poem and then uh, we have also the loyalty uh, the theme of loyalty because abraham lincoln was very loyal to his nation and uh, that's how the war has been won by him under his leadership so um, he has been very uh, much consistent in you know uh, in dominating the rebels and therefore the theme of loyalty also comes into play and also we can see there are many other meanings 
which are um, implied in that poem and when we read the next stanzas like the second stanza and the third stanza then we will find out more of it and where we will also see that the captain is uh, how much how much the sacrifice has been uh, made like the punctuation marks used here like in the first line the oh captain punctuation mark my captain punctuation mark here the speaker is trying to relate his emotions with the captain so he is directly actually involving his emotions with the captain abraham lincoln so this that has been the opening line has been a great example it has been a great example of showing the emotional uh, attachment and it is also at the same time it is very um, joyous moment at the time when he is uh, beginning the poem the but the but the but the later on uh, oh but oh heart heart here the punctuation marks like exclamation marks which are used in the beginning opening line and here in the middle of the stanza this punctuation marks doesn't mean the same because at the same and because uh, in this line the punctuation marks plays as an uh, descending of the emotions like from the joy to grief so here the um, speaker is becoming more mournful and we know that this poem is also an elegy so uh, the poem has been uh, mourning the death of the captain so the poet's tone is also changing afterwards so we all see this kind of examples of uh, the change of the tone and the change of you know, uh, the emotions from the beginning to the end in the next two stanzas i will end the video in the uh, in this uh, this uh, on this discussion of the first stanza over here only later on i can discuss more of this point in the next video thank you